Maniac Girl. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to do seven months. Yes, count them. One through seven. Seven months of reviewing the Morphe brushes. In the Morphe subscription, it's $19.99 a month. You get between three to five brushes. Excuse me, three to eight brushes, depending on the month. I never got as many as eight. I did get as many as little as three and maximum five. Seven months that I'm going to review, you're going to see that. I have a total of 17 brushes we're going to review. I'm going to go in the different months and kind of compare, you know, from month to month what, you, what you're going to look at receiving. But all in all, this is seven months worth of brushes. And I really think that that kind of helps you determine at $19.99 a month, is this subscription right for you? Because again, I have seven months side by side. So if you want to see how this video goes and my thoughts on some of the brushes, which ones would I use, which ones wouldn't I use, you're in the right spot. So stay Hello, tuned. Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So this year I wanted to kind of do something a little bit different with the Morphe brushes. I last year and even I think earlier this year, pretty much earlier this year, I had released, you know, a couple months at a time or a month at a time to show you what kind of brushes you're going to get from Morphe. So I went ahead and saved up seven months. Yes, count them, seven months of brushes because I want you to see what the Morphe subscription does throughout the year, not just having to go back clip by clip and see kind of what your brushes, what kind of brushes you're given throughout the, the year in spots. I want you to see them as one jumbo mumbo mumbo jumbo subscription. I don't even know that that's, that's some more technical terms right there. More technical terms right there. But yeah, I figured seven months would allow you to really be able to see, does Morphe give you an assortment of brushes? Do they give you too much of one, not of another? So we're just going to go almost randomly because it's been so long. I can't remember what month I got what brushes in. So bear with me as we go through this video, okay? Bear with me. So first we're going to start out with Resting Beach Face. I do love whoever does their marketing. They are so stinking cute. So with Resting Beach Face, we got four brushes and here they are. So we're going to talk a little bit about each of the brushes. I probably am not going to go through each of the marketing bits because I will wear your tail out. But we do have a duo, basically, foundation and oval shadow brush. So let me pull out the right ones here. This one here is a oval foundation brush. I don't know that I would necessarily... I don't know what I would use this brush for, but to me, I would have never guessed that it's a foundation brush. Not impressed with that one. Then we go into the oval shadow brush. This, I use these at minimum a couple times a week. So having this oval shadow brush is fantastic. Then we have the Pro Flat Contour Brush. I think these make things easier when you're trying to cut out that, carve that cheek. So these can be very helpful there. And then we have the under eye bullet. Okay, again, this isn't a brush I'm gonna use. I don't know, I, I just don't need an under eye bullet. Maybe I do and that's why my makeup could look better is because if I use the under eye bullet, maybe it'd look better. I don't know, I don't know. But for me, in all truthfulness, out of that, so that month, I would only use two out of the four brushes. These two, eh. It is what it is, right? Let's move on to the next section, which is the spring fling section. So we've got four more brushes, which I always like when I get a lot of brushes. When I just get a couple, I'm like, eh, whatevs, whatevs. This is a pro tapered uh, powder brush. And I mean, I don't know, having a pro tapered powder brush, don't you just kind of need one brush? Why do you need a tapered one? I'm kind of confused about that. But again, I'm just a makeup enthusiast. I'm not a makeup artist. But let's talk about the other ones that we got here. So we got an angled brow. I can never have too many of these. Although this is kind of big to me for a brow. But hey, maybe it's to make your brows really big. I don't know. I don't know. So we have an angled brow. 
and we also have a precision crease blender. These things I use every day, multiple times a day, several of them a day. And then we have a small flat angled contour. This isn't something that I would use because I don't, I don't contour my nose. Some women do, so I think if you contour your nose, having this little bitty one is fantastic. It's too small for me to use here. So, you know, again, I, I don't know that I would use that brush per se. The other thing that I thought was interesting about it is that we have, um, they threw in a rose gold with some silver. That just seemed a little bit odd to me. I would have thought they would have stayed all with one color scheme. So again, I'm just kind of a little confused about that month. Who packaged them? Did they not want to go with the same colors? I don't know. All right. So then we're going to get into the happily ever after. And that's that's where it's like this month may have kicked off the next month. This month may have given you like, ooh, look at that rose gold. You only got one of them. And then boom, the next month you get them. I'm thinking that could be it. Let's go with that. So let's talk about um, happily ever after. So we got a deluxe blender. Again, can never have too many of those, especially if you have a heavy hand like me. And blending is in muy importante. Love it. All right, we're going right back into these weird powder brushes. So kind of a pointed powder brush, and the model is like this. I don't put put on my powder at an angle like this. Maybe I should. I need to watch some more YouTube videos. And then we have a deluxe highlighter fan. So these are really nice as far as if you're trying to get kind of a precise little highlighter on point. So I would use this one. I would use this one. This one, eh, it goes into the probably not going to use pile. Now, I really liked whatever month this was. It was the We Love You Very Matcha. Matcha, matcha, potato, patata. So they've already given us a, a fan brush. And then I get another fan brush. So not too excited that I got two fan brushes. I don't need to. Don't need to. But because the color schemes are different, I guess I do need to. So let's talk about these. We have a flat definer brush. Love, love, love these flat definer brushes. Whether you're doing eyeliner on top or if you're doing two colors for a smoky eye on the below, freaking adorable. Love, love, love these. Then we have a little bit of a bullet crease. So the bullet crease, I used one similar to this today. So I have just a smidge of raspberry right there. I had done a V and then I put the little raspberry color right in the V and these little brushes are, yeah, mm -hmm, loving it. And I love the colors. So next we're gonna go, we talked about the, the fan brush already. Then we have a tapered, I'm sorry, blending fluff right here. I'm, I'm all about fluff in the blending, blending the fluff. So we'll use that. And then we have another deluxe pointed contour. And so, you know, I rather use the chiseled than this, but maybe together, depending on what look I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put all five of these in the Amy would use pile. Mm hmm. Yep. Going to use them. All right, so next is the thankful for you month. And so we got four little brushes here and they're thankful for you. Ah. We have a penciled crease. And again, love these kind of penciled brushes. And then we have a detail liner. So this detail liner can really help you with a wing and it is so teeny tiny. It is so precious. Love these. And love this. So those would definitely go into the Amy's going to use pile. Let's talk about these big ones. So we have a unique pointed dome brush here. And this is multi-use. You can use it for powder, um, blush, etc. So multi-use there. Um, I'll put that in the Amy's going to use pile. 
And then we have the Large Duo Fiber Dome Buffer. So this buffer is um, allows you to apply brush or powder. It also, with it being a buffer, if you've gotten a little heavy-handed, which I do a lot, this kind of will help you smooth that out. So I do like that one. I don't use it often, even though I probably should. I mean, I'm kind of mixed on those, you know, do I put them in the Amy's Gonna Use pile or do I just put them in the, eh, we'll get to it later if I ever need it pile. It's probably going to go, in all honesty, both of those will go to the, I'll put those in a separate section if I ever need them as a backup. We have Bad and Boozy. Bad and Boozy. So these are the, the metal type, and I love these colors. I just think, I don't know, the steel metal is fantastic. I think they're beautiful. So let's talk about those. Okay, we get a flat buffer. So if you didn't like the really fine chiseled, you've got a little bit of a wider one. Don't know how often I'm, I'm going to use that, but this is for um, a foundation brush. I don't need a lot of foundation brushes, I guess is what it comes down to. Then we have a round blender. This is um, basically for you to blend and buff out anything that you need to blend or buff out. And then we have the taper, I'm sorry, this is the round blender and this is the round taper brush. So I have those kind of backwards. I, again, I don't know that I need to use these two, but this one, so one out of three for that month, I would use. And then the last month that we got is, or month seven, is pumpkin spice and everything nice. And we ended up with four brushes here. I think I'll use three out of the four, so let's talk about those. Once again, we get another pointed foundation concealer, and this is kind of dual-sided. I am not a fan of dual-sided brushes, so not my bag, baby. That will go into the probably never going to use pile. But I have a um, blending fluff, a small detail brush, and a detail smudger. All of these I would use and use them on a regular basis. So out of those four brushes, I'm going to use three. Now let's let's look at basically what piles I've got where. In seven months, we had 27 brushes, and out of those 27 brushes, I would use 17 of the brushes on a regular basis. The other 10 not too exciting for me but you can see the array of brushes that you do get in a seven month period. Hoping that you enjoyed this video, just kind of giving you a sense really as far as the Morphe subscription goes. I hope this has been absolutely helpful for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, etc., please put those below. And as always, I really appreciate you. So make it a great one. Until next time.